Okay. Oops. That's something else. Um. <laughs> That's what I want. Okay. They call me the duck. Dialogue to auto advance. Sure. Like a less information provided when incorrect. Okay. I'm a detective. Life wasn't easy. I was a freshly divorced duck. Not able to pay next month's rent. Not that I had paid for it this month yet. My brain felt foggy. And I was trying to remember where did all my money go? I had to retrace Girl, last night's steps. Go. The deductions are a vital part of a detective's work. Find clue words by questioning persons. Question persons and inspecting your surroundings. Enter clue words into the blank spaces to solve deductions. The nest egg blank spent his her last money on blank for blank okay no messages no messages I won't be needing this badge anymore i guess i can keep it as a souvenir my new job as the duck detective isn't going any better, though. <sighs> well, if things keep going badly, I can always sell it online. Oh, is your name Howard Donowall? Dude, you put Dono, you put Donowall if I don't look at it for a second. Bro, what the heck? What do you want this from me? Fresh smell. Oh. Sweet spongy loaf. Oh my god. Oh, you keep me safe at night. My goodness. You see that? I took that He's photo got of thing for it. tulip field. For bread. He spoke for hours under the stars that night. And now she doesn't even answer my texts. All I see is Dibble Drizzy? What? I took that photo. Dibble Drizzy? What are you? What are you talking about? Or B Bibble? BBL? B B B Brazilian butt lift? Drizzy? I don't know what Drizzy is. I can't believe Anna actually filed the divorce papers. Oh. Anna. Second overdue notice. I wonder at what point they start kicking people out. I have everything I need to solve this now. Okay. The doctor test on bread. Last money on bread for rent. Oh, for Anna? For the. I see. Uh, not my proudest moment, but the toast helps me to forget. He's drunk on toast. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my, oh my. Pick up your trash, dude. Anna! I'm a different duck now. I haven't had a, a slice of bread in weeks. You have to believe me! Oh my goodness. Oh. 
Yeah, you're speaking to the duck detective. Let's discuss this in person. Now, be there in an hour. I'll be there in an hour. I don't have the the deep voice to pull off him. I spent more than half of my remaining cash on the bus fare, and here I was, in front of their bus office. Some sort of rundown call center. I better crack this case, or I won't even have enough money to make it back home. Where am I? It's a, it has the voice for it. Is that a person? I don't I don't know who that is. New bus route starting in August. Visit the scenic mountains of South Sicilia. I'd always tell Anna we'd go there one day. Okay. I don't uh, Am I supposed to know what you're referencing? I I I don't. Can I run? Mr. Duck Detective, can you run? Run faster? Oh, that's it. Hello, Koala. What are you? I'm staying here until I get my money back. Oh. Bear bus? <laughs> More like scam bus. Oh. You, uh, sound unhappy. You bet I am. Their stupid buses always arrive late. I came back from a work trip to the west and arrived here at three in the morning! And they don't even want to give me a refund. How much did you pay? Hmm, too smart. <laughs> but that's not the point! It's about the principal. <sighs> I'm so angry! Okay. Is there anything in the leaves? This office looks like it'll worsen my depression. Uh. Bear bus. Bear bus. I could already tell based on her face that the receptionist was a tough one. She wouldn't make life easy for me. But I had to make my way into the office. I'm the duck detective. I'm here to investigate a case. Okay. Uh. Do you work here? Uh, no. Well, then I can't let you in. But I've been hired by someone from Bearbus. Who hired you? Um, I didn't catch their name. Listen, buddy. You better get out of here, or I'll have to call security. There's always more to people than you might think. I Whoa, should take a closer look. Who? Figure out what she's about. What are you about? You're still here? No. I'll leave you alone. What are you about inspection? Use magnifying glass. Use the magnifying glass to find clues and press E to uncover them. Okay. Oh, she's crying. Why is it change? That's weird. That's so weird. It's like extra high detail. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, tears. Sad. She's sad, dude. Keychain. Boy band. K-pop. K-pop fan. Name tag. Last name. With... Win Win Thur Win Winthimer. You're still here? I'll leave you alone. It's locked. I literally just told you you need to stay out. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, what? Cute. It's a cute giraffe. 
Smiley face. Happy. Happy giraffe. It's happy September. What's on the September 7th? Today. Oh. Well, I guess that's useful. Tomorrow is Friday. I need to remember to collect my dry cleaning. Remembered. I swear to God, if someone steals my mug again, I'll end them. Mug stolen. Suggestions. Laura from CS is way too loud. I can hear her keyboard all the way to my desk. Laura. It's Sophia's birthday next Thursday. Just saying. Sophia. What? So today? Today's Thursday? When was that put These in? These are quite mundane. I'm surprised nobody wrote something more scandalous. Scandalous. It's important to work out a suspect's name to crack the case. Enter their first and last name into the slots below their portrait in your journal suspect page. I think, yeah, oh, uh, winter, winter, it, uh, it's, uh, Sophie. Happy birthday, Sophie. It's Sophie's birthday. Say happy birthday to Sophie, Lon. I should be able to figure out what's going on with her. I need to check my notes in the deduction section. She's working on her birthday. Sophie is feeling sad because nobody has remembered her birthday. Got it. That's why she's making such a face. I should try and cheer her up. I'll cheer you up, Sophie. I did wreck in the place. You're still here? Happy birthday! I'm just here to wish you a happy birthday. <gasps> How did you know? Just another one of Duck Detective's great deductions. Huh? Uh, <laughs> anyway, that was really nice of you. No one else remembered. Can you believe it? If you know my birthday, you must have a connection to someone here. Here's the key card to the office. <laughs> Dang. That's crazy. Sad. She's crying. You could have just told me you know someone here. Not sure why you acted so weird with all the detective business. Okay. In I go. The stained carpets and peeling wallpaper exuded a stench of stale coffee and abandoned dreams. I knew I couldn't stay long, or it'd rub off on me. Oh, this is the last straw! Fredersen needs to be fired! I'll see what I can do. Who are you? Do you have a problem? If you have one, just call our damn hotline. I'm Eugene McQuacklin. The duck detective. Eugene McQuacklin. hired me to investigate a case. Why didn't you just say so? It's time we put an end to the awful lunch death. What do you mean? I, I just said so. Is some evidence from the upper management. I'll be in my office. First, I had to find out who works here and what their jobs are. I needed to find my client as well. Thankfully, I remembered the piece of paper I had in my jacket from taking notes during the call. The suspect, the client. Hmm. 
Blank hired the duck detective because his, her, blank was blank by a co-worker known as blank. Tricky duck, du deductions might require new perspectives. Press H to get additional guidance at any time. Detective work isn't easy. I was sure I would be able to crack this. Uh, it's just a hint. Hint. The two desks on this side look unused. Oops. This is Bear Bus. How can I help you? Ugh, this is the third time you're calling. I'm telling you, your ex-wife did not cancel your booking. Uh. She uh, looks busy. Different brand, known headset dedicated. Insomniac. Energy drink. Bad habits. R. Interrogate? I don't think I should interrogate. The PC is on, but the person who works at this desk seems to be on a break. They only have a single person answering the hotline right now? That's surprising. Huh. Whitlock. Posing. Whitlock. Hint, me and sexy aliens? Clues to her password. Me and sexy aliens. I don't think I have enough information to crack it yet. Okay. The two desks on this side look. It's a list of all the bus drivers. The most busy driver out of all four seems to be Petrovich. Petrovich. Brazil. Et cargo. Sol Solstice. Holland's days. Their buses don't go very far. Cash payment. Salami. High quality salami. Expensive. West currency. Spotless good condition. A good condition bag. That's a lot of salami. I'm the only one here in the operating office. Can you imagine? I plan all the bus routes and make sure the buses are on time. <laughs> Isn't that so cool? Don't you have an angry customer shouting outside about the buses being late? I, uh. Really? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> How are you, Mr. Duck Detective? Whose cup you- Oh, you have Laura's cup! Uh-oh. <laughs> what the- <laughs> Okay. Thick, strong prescription, bad eyesight. Velcro, <laughs> what? <laughs> what the heck? Oh, okay. I'm the only one here in the operating off. I play in all the buttons. <laughs> Don't you have an anchor? 
Do you have any idea who picked me to investigate? <laughs> no idea, but I'm so happy you're here. I have a copy of your book. The early bird catches the criminal. Oh, you Can you sign me? it? Sure. I... Yeah, I guess so. Woo! <laughs> Thanks so much, Mr. Duck Detective. I won't ever forget this. This will become a core memory. I shouldn't go outside yet. I need to find out who the people in this office are first. Did I remember to write down their professions and my deductions? Oh, uh, I see. Or I need to investigate. I need to ask you some questions. No, I'm sorry. You can't take your 12 trombones on the bus. What? Can't you see I'm talking to a customer? It's company policy. Nothing I can do. Goodbye. Do you know anything about who called me here? What are you talking about? Listen, I have a million more emails to answer, and there are mm, 50 people in the phone queue. I have worked 10 days in a row, including three night shifts, My and goodness. Manfred still doesn't want to give me a raise! Just leave me a piece! So, Manfred. you have no clues for me? What is your relationship with Sophie Windheimer? Excuse Windheimer. me for a second. Oh man, I don't know how I'd survive the office without her. Sucks that she's at the reception. I would have loved to have her in the office. I'm back. Yes, please collect your toddler from the bus station. Okay. Tab. The people. She's the receptionist. Can I? Oh. So I don't put their. Okay. Oh, sure. Kitchen. What's that? Oop. Yeah. Insert photo here. Lazy. Employee of the month fixed. Freddy sucks. Rufus. Sid. 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 Reese. Sidaris. Who's a Rufus Sidaris? Stop with the post its. Freddy. People hate Freddy, I guess. I'm not sure I'd feel particularly appreciated. In here must be the crime scene. First, I want to find out who the people in the office are. It will make things easier in the long run. Okay. I'll need to remember to write everything down in my deductions. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Artichoke. The dimly lit room seemed to promise well kept secrets and rumors. Number one, Dad. How are the detective things going, Mr. Detective? It's Mr. McQuacklin. Right. Apologies. Right. Are you planning on staying in my office much longer? I'll have to inspect the entire premise to do my job correctly. <sighs> well, hurry up. He's angry. It's messy. Fam oh, it's a baby food. Family man. Ty, expensive branch manager. Uh, yes. I have a feeling you're not enjoying my company. Not particularly. 
Was it you who called me? No. I never heard of you before. That's unusual. It's good you're here, since there has been some unrest. Her earnest. What a fancy nameplate. It says Ernst. Ernst. What a f it says. Ernst. Manfred Ernst. It's a letter for an application for a promotion to senior customer service agent. Signed by L. Angst. L. Angst. I'll put Angst here. Oh, it does. Okay, it does get. What are you doing with my family's portrait? S sorry. Framed high quality portrait. Kids, identical age, twins. Hinge? Oh, there's a secret behind the painting. Is it normal to have a huge painting of your family in your office? Hmm. Interesting. I'm so bored. I don't understand why such a small office needs a reception. I'm just here to keep the angry customers out. So. Do you have an idea who would have hired me? It's about the incident, isn't it? Um, sorry, no idea. Okay. It says server room. It's locked. Hmm. I can't leave now. I need to solve. Fred Ernst. I think he likes me. He's the only one who doesn't shout at me. Interesting. What do you think about Manfred Ernst? Oh, he's a great guy. I just wish I'd finally get a raise. Yes, yeah, sorry. This is Bear Bus. Your bus will be three hours late. The three hours. Sophie as a receptionist. The bear, uh, Manfred, and he is the branch manager. The cat is Laura. She's a uh, customer service. Crocodile, Freddy, works as the operating office. Now that I had worked out these names, I was ready to check out the crime scene. Let's see where that lunch got stolen from. Then I could finally talk to my client. Look at the. Let's look. The kitchen. A 
as soon as I entered the kitchen, the comforting waft of cheap white toast entered my nostrils. Okay. <sighs> I knew I had to stay strong. This wasn't what I was here for. Stop eating the icing! Can't you wait a couple hours? Margaret, if it wasn't for these pants almost bursting, I'd have this for breakfast every day. Yes, yes. Margaret. You can have it and so much more later when we're done preparing. Halloween party. Cancelled? Hungry, get your own lunch. Looking for editor unpaid. Hungry. Office parties are a bad idea anyway. They stopped doing them at the precinct after the uh, jam incident. The jam incident. Dishwashers broken again. What's wrong with these youngsters? Don't know how to treat things with respect. Why would they put the mugs in face up? Huh. It's got an A on it. Oh, that, okay. That's Star Trek. I'm a private detective, and I'm here to investigate a case. Is that so? I need to find my client. Do you know who it could be? Uh, Freddy's a bit of a weird one, so I'd imagine you were called detective. Personally, I feel we're doing just fine. And don't need no messing about our business around here. Would you say you enjoy Freddy Frederson's, um, company? Huh. If anyone needs to learn to respect their elders, it's that moron. Do you get along with Manfred Ernst? Mm. He's a stubborn one. I do respect that. Huh. Yes, dear? I'm Eugene McQuacklin, detective, and I need to ask some questions. A detective? How exciting! What's the most gruesome murder you've seen? Oh my. How many dead bodies have you encountered? No one died, but I investigated a case once where five little pigs robbed a bank. Caught them red-handed, and got myself an article in the Goose Times. They called it the Piggy Bank Case. Did someone get shot? What? No! Beaten up? Uh, no. Hmm. Okay. Surely you must have some interesting stories. I almost died that one time. 
when I got myself into trouble with the Teething Turtles Mafia. That incident taught me to stay away from beautiful ladies in red. Did they break your kneecaps? Huh? No! <laughs> you can see that I can walk just fine. Hmm. Do you know anyone here who could have hired me? To be honest, everyone was quite shocked by the launch theft. And no one told me they've called a detective! I don't know what's going on at all! Oh my goodness. What do you think of Sophie Windheimer? She doesn't have the easiest life, you know. She just had a terrible breakup with her ex. Oh. But don't tell anyone. Can you tell me anything about Laura Angst? Oh, she's such a hard-working girl. I heard she secretly studies for her online bachelor's during work. Ooh. You need to keep this a secret, though. <laughs> She's just telling me all the... All the tea, all the juicy gossip. Margaret. Is that... Wash their hands after leaving that greasy handprint. I need to look at her. Impeccable hair. Why does her eyes look like that? She's motherly. Divorced. Hmm. Margaret. Ruf Rufus. Thanks for the food, Salami Bandit. Sharp claws. So, this must be the crime scene. This noise is curious. You leave a note. What is your relationship with Margaret Whitlock? Ah, she's a true sweetheart. We have our weekly mahjong evenings. Mahjong. Are you getting along with Rufus Sedaris? You know, the two of us are from the older generation. Which means we understand each other well. He is quite harsh towards the younger ones, though. Rufus Sedaris like? Uh, not the greatest janitor, but he came with the building. Came with the building? What do you know about Laura Angst? Oh, she's a fantastic employee. She basically does the work of five people. <laughs> oh my god. And you're not giving her a promotion? Can you tell me more about Freddy Fredersen? Let me put you on hold while I find the route for you. Freddy? He gets paid more than me. Can you imagine that? What an incompetent waste of office space. Hello, this is Laura again. I checked the bus routes and found that. She hates Freddy. Freddy. 
What can you tell me about Margaret Whitlock? She gets really angry with me when I don't return mugs to the kitchen. Um, why don't you just return them? I do! Uh, just not every day. <laughs> okay. You got any new juice on anyone? What can you tell me about Laura Angst? Laura needs to chill out. I do love her, but if she keeps living like this, she'll have a heart attack by 23. How old is she? How are you getting on with Margaret Whitlock? She's sweet and all, but she can't keep her mouth shut. It seems like the office knows more about my personal life than me. <laughs> Interesting. Huh. The cold air ruffled my feathers, and I wondered what kind of sorry soul was standing all alone in the rain. Boris. Old proportion, handsome. Ooh, handsome man. Bad manners. Man, this isn't the bus stop. You'll have to walk south to the central bus station. What? I'm not here to take a bus. Oh, it's cold out, but if I go inside, I have to face Sophie. I'm investigating okay. a case here at Bear Bus. Oh, uh, do you mean the lunch that got stolen? Exactly. Do you know who called me? Nah, too busy minding my own business. I don't talk much with the customer service folks. What do you think of Sophie Windheimer? <sighs> Man, I wish she'd let me talk to her. Do you, um, like Freddy Frederson? He's a pretty funny dude. Loves to rant about detective novels. What do you huh. know about Rufus Sedaris? I don't think he likes me very much, to be honest. But then, doesn't feel like he likes anyone at this office. Hmm. Except for Margaret, I guess. Do you think they have a thing going on? <sighs> I don't work here. I thought you were a detective. <laughs> okay. What's this? Someone left their bag here. Ugh. It's full of dirty gym clothes. Do you know anything about this bag? Oh, it's really strange. Things in it disappeared. And others appeared. Very suspicious. <sighs> what are you even talking about? Is this your bag? No. Oh, <laughs> okay. Everyone here is being really unhelpful. in customer service penguin is uh rufus works as a janitor bus driver boris that's 
Margaret. Not Laura. Margaret. Now that I had everyone's name and job, it would be easier to figure out what was going on. The two desks on this side look on. Do you get along with Boris Petrovich? He's a chill guy. I take the bus sometimes to go to bouldering conventions, and then we get to chat. Is this your bag? Huh? No, mine's over there. The one with all the salami? <laughs> yeah. Why do you need so much salami? It's not mine. It was just there. A really nice surprise. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, no one told me who hired me. By uh was stolen. Lunch was stolen by a cohort known as Freddy, I guess. I don't know who's You still launch again? Oh, yeah. Uh, Surely you must have some. That's an inappropriate. <laughs> Do you know whose bag this is? Isn't that Freddy's? Do you know anything about this bag? Why are you going around pushing bags into people's faces? Ugh, what's that awful smell? It's, uh, dirty gym clothes. Well, it's not Rufus's. It's not Margaret's lunch. It's the... Bear, I think, because of the bear, I guess. Uh, or is it just bear bus? No. Uh, Manfred. Oh, it's the. That's a bear paw. It's a, it's a paw. I guess it was Laura. Because I guess that's a cat paw. So it was Laura who called me. Not I needed to discuss the case with her. You're my client? Why didn't you tell me? Can I put you on hold for a second? Ugh, what? Well, you should have told me. You're the duck detective. What are you? I'm a duck. I'm wearing a trench coat. So, is Freddy getting fired, or what? <sighs> I'm, uh, working on it. Ugh, it can't be that hard. Sorry I'm back. Yes, let me walk you through the booking process. It was time that I found out what happened with the lunch theft. And what they were planning in the kitchen. Is planning a... Margaret is playing a surprise birthday party. Margaret was planning a surprise birthday party for Sophie. I see. <laughs> he didn't actually forget her birthday. Okay. The culprit. Freddy is being framed by because Blank picked up the wrong bag.
by. It was as I thought. Freddy Fredersen was actually being framed. <laughs> this office wasn't as boring as it looked. When Freddy took the bus back and he went to pick up his luggage, he must have picked up the wrong bag. This happened because there was another bag that's identical to his. The bag that he picked up belonged to... The Salami Bandit! Uh -oh. This made him a target. And to get rid of Freddy, the Salami Bandit decided to frame him. Everyone! It's time for... You Know What! Birthday party. Okay, get into position. I just texted her, so she should be here in a... Huh? What's this? Surprise! Surprise! Oh, uh, surprise! Uh, no way. This is all for me? Birthday. Cat. So, salami. Huh? A letter. Ugh. Oh. Salami? What, what a terrible present. No, you silly idiot! The real present got stolen and switched for salami! Uh, what? The salami bandit! I saw an awful lot of high grade salami in Fredrickson's bag. And now there's no question who the perpetrator is. I've been telling you all along we can't trust Fredrickson. By the end of the day, he'll be fired. Mark my words. Seems like a bit of an overreaction to a present being stolen. Or is there more to it? There's more to it. That's not nice at all. Who messes with someone's birthday? It'll be okay. You have the duck detective here to figure everything out. <laughs> wow. That doesn't... Uh -huh. What can you possibly do? Leave me alone. What kind of a person is Boris Petrovich? Uh, that's the last thing I want to think about right now. I honestly don't know what I saw in him. Uh, I guess he's kind of good looking. Mm, okay, I don't need to look back at stuff. It's a heart shaped necklace. <laughs> Looks tacky. Someone gifted Sophia plushie. It says limited, limited edition. edition. Sexy aliens want my number. There were 12 of them. And they were red. The eyes, not the aliens. The aliens were blue. And there were 43. All of them wore shiny metal armor, which shined like something shiny made of curved metal this is an awful book what the heck the lead alien stepped forward captain bright bright beak could tell it was the lead alien because it was the one which stepped forward <laughs> what what is this <laughs> this is bad it was also the most beautiful, the only one with purple eyes. Very much it likes the eye color of everything. It made a noise that sounded a bit like talking from a hole that looked a bit li like a pretty lady's mouth. The translation device the captain had invented word into action, translating the words. 
into words he could understand. Hey, you look cute, a mechanical voice whispered into his ear. Can I get your number? Long book. It's kind of trash. I don't know why that would be like on the top of page 252. Oh. Oh god. What did I just read? It's kind of bad. Be a bajorno. Everyone. Quite unbelievable. I entered. Bajorno, everyone. Quite unbelievable. I entered the, the office really easily. LOL. Edge Sayonara, Edge Lords. I wonder what the purpose of that letter is. But I think I saw a sparkle in her eyes when she opened mine. I should really get back to work. Is the cat hers? Can you tell me something about this letter? Sophie won't even talk to me about it. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Isn't it purple, purple eyed? Yeah. Let's see what secret she has on her computer. QT. Heart, heart, heart. Lovers. Delete everything. What? No, she's saying delete everything. VPN. Secret crate recipes. Never gonna give you up. Okay. Vacation. Hmm. Who is this person she's messaging? I can look at her desk. This folder says Oops. manual for CS agents. How and when to create vouchers correctly. Correct. I'm falling asleep just reading the title. Can the OO please clean their desk? I can smell it until here. Smell it until here. That doesn't seem like uh, chatting Sophie, but they're sexy now. Is he serious? What a dumb pen name. Haha, -ha, it's just his name backwards. You definitely don't want to be Laura's enemy. Oh, yeah, the pen name? There's a... Hey, look at my, the clues. Oh, there's name. Oh. 
Rufus. Oh, R Rufus. <laughs> no wonder it's kind of bad. So, what happens to the cake now? What do you think about this letter? People don't know how to write letters by hand anymore. What's with the weird line breaks? That's a good question. it was strange that your bag was full of salami? Uh, I don't know. I thought someone gave me a salami surprise. I'll eat salami sandwiches for breakfast, lunch, and dinner from now on. Okay. I guess I can look at her desk. No? Maybe? Yeah. I can try doing the presents. Uh, 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 Sophie. Cake got stolen. That's uh, probably Boris. Not, uh, uh. Rufus made the book. And then... It could have been Laura was the book. No. I'm guessing you're ready to present legal evidence of Frederson's misconducts. It wasn't Frederson. Everything Legally. is pointing towards him. I will present the true culprit soon enough. Well, I don't really care how long it takes you. This will be Frederson's last day. Do you know anything about this letter? Well, it's obviously a cheap prank by Frederson. Only he would find this funny. <laughs> okay. What can you tell me about Boris Petrovich? He's uh, not the most reliable worker. Yeah, but it's difficult finding replacements nowadays. <laughs> okay. 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 Are you even watching or do you just... Worth, worth less than... Cus customs... Procedures for the passengers entering from the west board. Hmm. The local police about suspicious activities. Where it goods? Weapons? Plants? More than 10 trom trombones, meat, potatoes, books not in the interest of the eastern states. Luggage will be checked at the bus station for more information. Rizal.customs what do they have against potatoes? <sighs> Maybe it was too romantic. Did Sophie ask about me? 
she might have mentioned you. Did she really? I bet my present will blow her away. Okay, uh, maybe not. It's obviously... Or... Gave the book. No. <laughs> um... Right, unless it's a cake on the table, why would it be in the... Because the cake should be on the table, right? The cake is on the table. Um... Bag. Bag was still on. No. Cake. Letters? Letters. Necklaces. Nothing was stolen. Nothing got stolen. So, nothing got stolen after all. It seemed that the salami present was intentional. Weird. Uh, Sophie received a scary message that contained a silly letter oh Scared. present is there a present book cake x letter message or maybe that's message into this letter Sophie was receiving threats. I needed to find out why. Okay. Our being books are from oh. Imported frame. Not Brazil, is it? That explains all the high grade salami. I just needed to find out who was behind this. The mystery of the salami bandit was slowly getting unraveled. Why would someone illegally import salami? Western goods are prohibited from entering and being sold in the East. This is why the salami bandit decided to make a business out of buying high-grade salami in the West. Smuggling it to the East. And selling it at a high profit. <laughs> okay. Also, for some reason, Sophie received a letter from the salami bandit that had a hidden, threatening message. Who would say Sayonara Edgelord? This was serious. I had to question all of the employees. Thanks for coming, everyone. Well, everyone except for Sophie. Where is she? Slacking off. Playing on her computer phone, like usual. She's having problems with her family. She was at her desk and said she needed a moment. <clears throat> I will start then regardless. I have made my deductions and drawn some serious conclusions. Oh, finally! Is Freddy getting fired then? Who is the murderer? I... No one's murdered. 
No one died. I'm getting framed. I'm telling you. What a load of baloney. He is right, actually. He is getting framed. What? Why would anyone bother? Ah, that is the question, isn't it? Why would anyone bother? Get to the point. It's through my observations that I uncovered a conspiracy. Oh, this is ridiculous. Why are we still listening to a random duck that waddled into this office? I'm leaving. <laughs> okay. I'm a certified private investigator and... It's okay. Just tell us what you know. <sighs> Salami is being smuggled from Salsitia using your very own buses. Huh? What's going on? Okay, this is going too far. I really have more things to do. Now that is really scandalous! Does that mean we're losing our jobs? Uh... <laughs> okay. Listen, everybody. It's really important that no one leaves the premises. <sighs> I need to get back to work. Oh, everybody's leaving. Ah. <sighs> Still here, Mr. Duck Detective? This is getting intense, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe you could need a little help? You seem lonely. Lonely? I could be your assistant. What do you want me to do? D uh, decipher messages? Talk someone into telling us the truth? Follow people around? Oh. I'm pretty good at that. Ooh. Just stay here. Like this? Yep. You're doing great. Wanted to be a rich real estate agent. Okay. Wait, she's not going back to work. Stalking. You're stalking me. Throw bread to the fine breaker, Lady Justice. Too old. Okay. Murder at the beaver's den. Moi, moi da. Kidnapping a kingpin. Never kidnap a king penguin. Kingpin on his birthday. Someone is clearly obsessed with detectives. really a detective's job to spin crazy conspiracy theories, is it? Sometimes the truth is pretty crazy. Seems a bit cheap. Mm. 
She left? Just like this? Oh. Maybe she's at home. Should I look for her? S Sophie left! And she left a note on the desk. You left a note. That's it, I quit! You'll never see me again. Sophie... Huh. What a dramatic turn. I should keep this as evidence. Sophie's letter? I did. Something's off. Something's different. Yeah, because it literally looks like a Sophie's letter. That's it. You'll never see me again. Because it's signed with the woo, the wiggle woo. It's signed the same way. Dialed number on this phone is zero three zero five one seven seven seven. Isn't that that's the customs number? Notify local police about suspicious activity. Huh? I know anyone anymore. I'll tell them everything. Don't. You blocked the number. Expecting when you work here to remember my birthday. It's my birthday. No one here. I don't need much, but at least a handwritten card would have been nice. <laughs> High expectations. I can't believe she complained about this online. It says it's locked. This is the note Sophie left. Can you tell me more about it? It doesn't make sense at all that she just suddenly leave. She definitely needs the money. And she would have told me. I'm her friend. Did I, I mean can't leave now? Uh, I, need to I, I want to ask the person out there. Did you see so a, a giraffe leave? Like isn't that is, 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 isn't that a good thing to ask? Did you see our giraffe come through here? What do you think of this note? It's no surprise she's left, is it? Would you want to work with someone you've dated in the past? Huh. What do you think of Sophie's resignation? Oh, I guess Boris was overdoing it a bit with that present. I did tell him to cool off a bit. Why are people not listening to me? Oh, someone left their phone. Someone forgot their phone. KT S Enjoyer. Almost dead. Are your parents still angry at you? Mm. 
nonsensical. <laughs> 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 Huh. I haven't right now. This is curious. Why would she write like this? Okay. Because she got kidnapped. Oh, hello. Why would Laura recruit you to deal with a theft? Aren't there any other detectives who are actually qualified for the job? I've been doing very well so far, if I do say so myself. The truth will be revealed in the end. Huh? Huh? I don't care. I guess I'll talk to the boss. Hey boss, uh... Have you seen Sophie's resignation? I can't say it comes at a surprise. She never particularly enjoyed her job. It's difficult finding replacements nowadays, though. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm missing things. Oh yeah, I can. I guess I can look at his computer now. Yeah, I have a computer, but I can... Finally, Manfred is out of his office. Time to see what's behind his precious family portrait. A safe. C-S-O-O-B-D. C-S-O-O-B-D. C S O O B D. I saw C S and I saw O O. Can the O O please clean their desk? The O O O O O O O O O O O O O The O O O O O O The Off operating office. The OO. Freddy is OO. Laura or Laura or Margaret CS. What was the other one? BD. Who's BD? BD, B, bus driver? Boris. Okay. Boris is four. I don't know what. for CS agents. It's three? Three hours?
Oops. Um, I mean, I guess I could guess through the numbers. It's a list of all the most busy driver out there. Four. Two? Oh, I guess two this... Two desks on this side look... That could be two. <laughs> this folder says... How and when to... I'm falling asleep, just read. Two CS agents. Four bus drivers and one OO. I guess that could be that. Two, four, one. wanted to open a ridiculously big safe. Let's see what secrets he has in here. Ah, oh, keys. Dear Ingrid. I know I haven't been there for you and the kids recently. Ingrid, okay. Wife. But things are looking up. I would love to take you to a romantic getaway to Hollandays. Love, Manfred. TV in my room. Keep quiet about the things. Do all these things and nothing will happen to you. Off a lot of security for a branch manager of a bus company. Wait, this keychain. Here it is. Here it the is. Key for the server room. Key. Nice. Uh, Sophie got stalked, blackmailed. Kidnapped because wanted to. Cause Sophie. Sophie wanted to go home to leave to cry to snitch. <laughs> Sophie got kidnapped. There must be more to this. Let's see what's hidden in here. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, secret detective business. Hmm. Interesting. I'm assuming Sophie's in here. The electrical sparks and blinking lights created a claustrophobic atmosphere. I definitely felt that I wasn't supposed to be here. What's he keeping in all these boxes? I don't think it's meant to do this. T <laughs> yeah.
anxious. I would think tired, but okay. Shame. Has that been there the whole day? Honestly, this is nicer than my apartment. Uh. Slip -sanders. It seems like uh, it's got all the aliens and Odyssey land. Camera three playback. CCTV. Lisa. How to delete easy selling history. Dad, this is not Google. Beer bus. 100 mark. New, unused 100. Now selling for 80. Voucher. What's up with these beer bus vouchers on Isei? Blank. Oh. Boris dated to make. Oh. No. It's, uh. Manfred blackmailed Sophie to make her stay quiet about. Blank is the one that provides the. Uh, stay quiet about illegally about uh, illegally importing salamis revise the salamis TV in my room. Friends, lovers, enemies, books, buses, cakes.
Illegally. Murdering, recruiting, stalking, helping, dating. Man friend blackmail Sophie. Sophie, that's a hundred percent him to make her stay quiet about. Whose computer is this? Maybe it's not Rufus. Uh... the vouchers it is vouchers it's a hundred percent vouchers of course no no oh it's it's Margaret Margaret because she's telling him to delete the history delete everything oh no it's I got it yeah, Margaret is the one provides the vouchers to Rufus. Manfred blackmailed Sophie. Or maybe, maybe it's not Manfred. It's... Whose handwriting is that? If someone steals my mug again, I'll end them. Is that Laura's handwriting? I kind of kind of looks like Laura's handwriting. Maybe it's Laura. it could be Margaret mm. yeah that's not Manfred's it's handwriting That's Laura's handwriting, is it not? If as uh, that's Laura, I swear. 
the mug. Because that's Laura's mug, right? Yeah, Laura. Laura Backman, Sophie. is the one that provides the voucher service. That's right. Really? Not helping. Dating. Importing. Yeah. Uh, but th this isn't about the salami, though. How do I have things wrong here? Make her stay quiet about Rufus illegally selling. It's, it's Rufus. It's got to be Rufus. What are you doing in there? Snooping around, are we? That room is strictly off limits. I even put up posters. This is for Im important detective work. Sophie's parents are awful, you know. I wonder if that's what made her run away. Are you writing another book? No. I can be your ghostwriter. <sighs> I'll think about it. Laura. Ah, that's 100% her handwriting. Uh, is it, it's gotta be. I swear to God, if someone steals my mug again, I'll end them. But she's pretending to be, or no, Manfred, Manfred, Manfred. That's Manfred's handwriting. Manfred is the salami bandit, but he's not, nothing to do with this. Sophie. Sophie got kidnapped because Sophie wanted to snitch. TV in my room, keep quiet about the thing. Is it not Laura? It's Rufus blackmail Sophie to I guess it must be Rufus.
This is what Rufus and Margaret were doing with the vouchers. That might be illegal, but huh. this wasn't what I was here for. I needed to catch the Salami Bandit. I quickly needed to find out where Sophie was being kept. I also couldn't let the Salami Bandit get away with this. It was finally time to find out who was behind everything. Kidnapping. Sophie is at under a box cake box bus under the bus. Recruit you to aren't there any other detect I've been the truth because huh. um, identical handwriting letter handwriting Oh yeah, I I already figured this out. Boris, because Boris is set. Not Boris. Oh, it's not Boris. It's Manfred. Uh, Manfred. Handwriting is R. What? What? It's late. It's man for man for what? Book bag. Bags are identical. Fight handwriting, lunch books, salamis, tie, trip. I mean, you could say Sophie, but Sophie doesn't make sense. It's Manfred. Manfred and Manfred. Unless I'm missing something. Because none of those. That's and then that's the same. It's the same. It's got the woo and same color. close that doesn't connect the T huh. I don't know uh, I don't know 
aid in take. Is there any K's in these? K, 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 K. Huh. Okay. It's that's obvious. Could it want to be Boris? About Bo oh, you want me to do the? There you go. Manfred sure. is the salami bandit. That makes a lot of sense. Ironic that his handwritten note meant to frame Frederson ended up incriminating Manfred instead. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Sophie is at... Oh, I see. That's why the things, the, that's why the bus's thing is closed. Oh yeah, it's the bus. Um, is at Fairbrush Station under, in, in a bus. No, that's not it. What station is this? Or no, it's not. It's bear bus office. Oh my god! Oh my god! That's where she is being kept! <clears throat> it's important that I stayed calm now. I couldn't alert the culprit, or all of this will have been for nothing. I needed to first figure out who is behind everything so I could confront them. Something was missing here. Who else was involved with this? I had collected everything I needed. I just had to organize my thoughts. The in, in infatuation. Because he used to date Sophie. He's someone who could convince. And the salon needed someone to convince into stalking, kidnapping, kid kidnap, murder, selling, helping. Could convince. Boris. That's not into. Because he used to date Sophie in a slot. Into. Murder. Sophie, oh, huh? I couldn't believe Sophie managed to talk Boris into this. Sure. 
This long needed someone to, who could easily carry out. The salami bandit wasn't working alone. It made sense for the bus driver to be involved. Yeah. Aha! I had it all Made figured out. Perfect now. sense. It was time that I confront the culprits. But first, I had to free Sophie. Oh. Why is everyone yelling? This looks dramatic. It's kind of a long story. And guess who deduced said long story? The one and only Duck Detective. Read the room. This is how everything went down. <laughs> okay. The Britzel Beerbus branch was suffering losses and had their budget cut as a result. Manfred, worried about the financial stability of his family, felt himself backed into a corner. This is when he became the Salami Bandit. He made his grand plan of salami smuggling and oh realized he couldn't do this alone. He recruited Boris since it would be easiest for the bus driver to load and unload the wares discreetly. The bus would go through a customs check at the Salsiccia bus station first. And then, Boris would take a detour to get the salami and load it onto the bus. This is why the buses always had a huge delay. Oh! It wouldn't be easy to talk Boris into crime. So Manfred convinced it. Sophie to join the team. Boris's obsession with her would make it easy for her to manipulate him into helping with their plan. Everything was going well until the Duck Detective, that's me, infiltrated the office. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Freddy was meant to be the scapegoat for the crime, but I'm not fooled that easily. Sophie began getting cold feet and ultimately wanted to confess to the police. Manfred couldn't have this, so he interfered. In an outburst of panic, he abducted her and hid her in the luggage compartment of one of the buses. And this is why Manfred stole Laura's lunch! What? What? Everything is figured out, but Manfred. who is truly guilty? Manfred? Sophie and Boris are all involved in the smuggling. Who should get arrested for their crimes? Manfred was the mastermind behind everything. Should Manfred get arrested? Yeah, why not? He is the reason this all started in the first place. Of course he should be arrested. What about Sophie? Without her, the smuggling wouldn't have been possible. She manipulated poor Boris into taking the salami across the border. Should Sophie get arrested? Just arrest them all. What she did was clearly illegal. She needs to face the consequences. Boris was at the end of the chain. Had he refused to take the salami on board, the plan would have not worked out. Should Boris get arrested? He might have not realized what was going on entirely, but that doesn't mean he's not liable for engaging in the smuggling. All right, I've made up my mind. Arrest them all. I will report to the state police. Manfred! Sophie! Boris! And I do it again! 
anything to secure my family's well-being. I'm not sure grand-scale salami smuggling was necessary for that. How else was I going to cope with all the budget cuts? If anyone actually worked in this office, we wouldn't have such terrible performance in the first place! Hey! I work! Yes, and then you keep asking for promotions! How am I going to give anyone a promotion if we have people baking cakes during working hours? <laughs> and while we're at it, Rufus! How dare you embezzle money from the company uh. and then threaten me? <laughs> That's... Rufus said we're only doing that until his book takes off. And then I'll play the lead alien in the movie adaptation. Uh. Look who's going to jail now, Manfred. Not me, that's for sure. I stand by what I said. I regret nothing. What is this? If I had known that calling the duck detective would result in this, I would have never done it. You were supposed to find out who stole my lunch, not accuse my best friend of smuggling. <sighs> oh. Dang, I ruined everything. I knew this was a bad idea from the beginning. Why did Boris have to lose the bag? My god, he is such an idiot! I had no idea it was that important. Why didn't anyone tell me about the plan? You said your cousin was ill, and the only thing that would make her happy was the salsiccia salamis. Oh, I should have known. If you're stupid enough to believe that, then you're also too stupid to bring a couple sausages across the border. Wow, you really did quack the case, Mr. Duck Detective. You're just as cool as I imagined. Not now, Ferguson. The truth. The truth is an ugly mistress. But it is my duty to throw bread to the fine beak of Lady Justice. My Boris probably is like the Dang, really? More people decide to arrest Sophie than Boris. That is weird. If I, going back, if I did it again, I would arrest Manfred and Sophie, just from those like end ones, and then uh, Boris, I'd probably leave alone because he's too dumb to even realize that he was <laughs> smuggling. Thanks for playing. Oh, crap. I completely forgot to collect my payment from Laura. Everybody already went home. How am I going to pay for the bus? <sighs> Guess I'm walking home. Oh. Ahem. <clears throat> Need a ride? I just booked this one. It's been such a long day, after all. No, thank you. Come on, it'll be fun! Plus, you must be tired after all the detective work. I really don't. Please? I... Now I finally have time to tell you all about my ideas for your social media. Please don't. I could get you tons of publicity. No. And imagine, 
We can team up. Absolutely not. And I can be your sidekick. Oh, I almost beat it. <laughs> mm. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna end stream. Bye, stream. Bye. Bye bye. Bye.